What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock Crow. As you guys can see on your screen, um, basically I unlocked Crow. He was actually the second character that I unlocked and he is a little bit difficult to unlock but with this tutorial it will hopefully help you guys easily unlock this guy because it's not that difficult, it's just a little tedious. So here's the first step right here. So the first step on unlocking Crow is that you actually have to get a dual assessment of a 5000 when you go against Sector Security and Sector Security is right here and you actually have to go face against this guy right here and you have to get 5,000 points now a couple people have been having some difficulties with this so I will give you guys a couple pointers and I'll actually show you a deck how to easily get to 5,000 um, dual assessment points but I will say with this deck at least it worked for the first time for me like when I first used this farm deck against sector security it worked for the very first time for me but on the second and third time goes around it didn't work out for me so it is kind of iffy with this farm deck but it does work you just got to get some trial and error against sector security right here so yeah basically you just have to duel them and I'm not going to do them right now for the sake of the video just in case that the farm will fail but I actually have a dual replay to show you guys on how to get a dual assessment of 5,000 when you're going against sector security right here and yeah to be honest with the machines arrest it probably would actually been easy to do that so the skill or the deck that I actually used um, for going against sector security is actually this one right here it was a farm deck that I used from Ubel huge shout out to James for sending me this uh, Ubel farm deck when Ubel was you know in the last event and everything like that this was the farm deck that I actually used for that but I found out that this deck also does work kind of against certain matchups but I will recommend if you're going to use my build I'd recommend getting rid of hatred aid and adding something else but it still works um basically right here but yeah I basically use this farm deck to get to a dual assessment of 5,000 points against sector security and it wasn't that bad to deal with you don't really need any skill for this farm deck and you just have to use the wing dragon of raw if this farm deck does not work out for you I'd recommend building kind of a deck that stalls um against the you know against the deck that you're going to be going against kind of just like a stall deck that can stand by for a lot of turns and then try at the last turn to get a bunch of attack you can also use a dual booster if you have any of those from previous events to hopefully um, be easily able to get some more assessment points because if I haven't mentioned already um, you can use this results booster to get in another additional assessment po um, assessment score of by, th by a thousand so there's that right there but if you can't build my deck just try to build a deck that can kind of stall against them and then on the final turn try to deal as much damage as you can for the win um, right here but this stall deck is very nice it uses the wing dragon of raw it has three copies of golden ladybug one copy of Hater Dane. probably don't need that one copy creature seizure one copy of anti arrivals worm baits one copy drowning mirror force honestly all this back row that i'm going to be talking about right here the drowning mirror force floodgate trap hole draining shield wall disruption just use whatever you have that just stops your opponents from attacking you like for example if you have three copies of wall disruption play three copies of wall disruption if you have three copies of draining shield play them and just kind of vice versa and switch things out just try to build your deck so where you can stall out and not get killed on the turn um what you're trying to do also we're running good goblins housekeeping so we can draw into a lot of our cards and then we also are running the ages of gaia to gain a lot of um just a life points you can also use solemn wishes i believe that's what that card is that also can work instead of ages of gaia and it's probably a little bit better than this card in my opinion um so there is that right there now like i said i already have a dual replay to show you guys how to get to 5,000 assessment points if you already have crow at 5,000 assessment points you can skip to a different um time stamp and i'll put the timestamps in the link in the description and in the comment section down below in the video um so you can skip this duel right here if you don't really need to check the duel but i'm just showing the duel so you guys can understand how this farm deck works um so if you decide to build this farm deck to get 5,000 points against sector security you can just watch this tutorial right here to kind of show you how to do it but it's very basic and hopefully this thing can go by kind of fast um i believe i have character lines off if i don't then i'm going to turn those off so it take too much time um here let me turn that off so we don't have to deal with that but anyways basically i was going against a nature uh, deck and i just go triple back row i go triple back row very easy right there when he summoned the other monster, I just kind of threw them all back into the deck. I play the good goblins housekeeping so I can draw into some cards. And honestly, I opened up with a really good opening hand for this farm. Like I said, this farm doesn't work every single time. Um, so that's kind of an issue with that. But when it does work, it does work. And the first, very first time, this actually worked for me. But I forgot to save the dual replay. So this is actually my fourth time trying to do it. And I actually got a successful run. So, so far, this deck's been 50-50 for me. I got it right the very first time. Second two times, I was trying to re-record this uh, dual replay since I forgot to save the first one. I tried two times against that through security and he messed me up. 
Uh, but yeah, kind of just my issue right there. But then the fourth time around, it did work out. So this farm deck does work against Crow, but uh, not against Crow for getting Crow, but it is kind of a little bit difficult right there. Um, but still, eventually, I feel like you guys will easily get over 5,000 points against Sector Security. Like I said, if you can't build this deck, you can just try to build like some sort of stall deck to just kind of stall your opponent until the Sector Security gets zero cards and then decks out. And then hopefully with the results booster, if you have any one of those, you'll get over 5,000 score. Um, but yeah, we're almost kind of done over here. We have like six turns left, which is very nice right there. And yeah, hopefully this uh, farm goes by pretty quick. But yeah, that's all you really got to do. You just got to get it over a score of 5,000 against Sector Security only. Now, a couple tips with Sector Security on getting him to appear is that it is mostly um, RNG to get Sector Security, but I do notice a couple things. So if you auto-duel all of your NPCs um, in, in your like little duel world or whatever, you auto-duel all the NPCs in the 5Ds world. When you use, if, and if there was no Sector Security there and you reuse, some of your um, dual boost orbs to like unlock a bunch of new or just add a bunch of new NPCs. I've noticed that basically sector security kind of does a rotation thing. So one set of 10 auto duels NPCs that you go against, um, there will be like a sector security there. And then once you auto duel everybody there and then redo the um, basically all of the NPCs again to get 10 more NPCs, um, all of a sudden the sector security is not there. And then when I finish all those NPCs and then redo the um, use the dual orbs to gain all my NPCs back, I notice that sector security security keeps popping up. So it's kind of like a rotation sort of thing I've noticed where when you auto duel all of your NPCs in your world and then you regain them all, eventually sector security will pop up and then the next go around he won't pop up again. So it's kind of like a rotation in a sense. Anyway, so this is the final farm part right here. Basically what you got to do is get to play Hatred Aid to get rid of the back row. I don't really think that these auto duelists have any like back row to stop you against, but I recommend using Hatred Aid just in case you have anything tricky. Next up, you're going to summon your Golden Ladybug and then activate worm bait and then summon two worm bait tokens next up you're going to play creature seizure and use creature seizure to then um give one of your opponents a worm bait and then they, your opponent will give you one of the cards next up you're going to go to your battle phase activate arrival arrivals and then summon the winged dragon Arrival, and then sacrifice all of your life points to then go for over 999 damage and then i got to like about 8600 score so that was very easy right there and worked on my fourth time and worked on my first time with this so this farm deck does work if you don't know where any of the cards are um, for like certain cards that you're trying to get for this um, video, I would recommend to click on the how to obtain button and then find out where these cards are. Just a recommendation right there. So now that you got 5,000 assessment score, what's going to happen is, is that now you got to do something else right here and you actually got to go to step tool. Basically all that was was just to get the unlock character. Um, missions and now what you got to do is that you actually got to do three different missions right here You have to play as you say Fudo and defeat crow three times at level 30 or 40 at the gate as you guys can see right here Once you unlock crow you'll get some cool little dialogue about the story of why he is in duel links And then what you're gonna need to do is that you're actually gonna need to fight him at level 30 and 40 and Let me tell you 30 and 40 decks can be an issue So with going against level 30 and 40 I strongly recommend using just your best deck like either your ranked PvP deck or just one of your best decks that you've been using throughout this thing because let me tell you I had to use my silent magician deck to go against level 30 crow because he has a really annoying synchro monster that when he summons it onto the board it can actually survive one turn and it like from battle so just use your best ranked pvp deck if you can maybe if for a higher deck maybe a silent magician deck maybe you have mass heroes or something like that just use your best deck to battle crow 30 times and hopefully you have enough gate keys so you can just easily keep battling crow um over there and as you guys can see I am perfectly fine on gate keys so I could keep fighting him over and over again so that's how I got it with this guy I just used my best ranked pvp deck and i defeated level 30 crow um three times so that was cool right there next up what you're gonna have to do is that you're gonna have to uh you know basically win three times with only using wing beast um attribute monsters so basically what i did literally all i did right here is that um actually let me get out of this deck let me get out of this deck. So what I actually did to get um, achieve three wins with the auto duel things, I used my auto duel deck, and literally all my auto duel deck is is basically just a bunch of four star monsters and a ton of good back row. Um, so basically, what I did is I took my auto duel deck, right, and I removed all of these monsters and basically what I did is I went to the filter option on your screen and then I went to the win category and once I did that I basically just chose a bunch of four star monsters there's also another filter I need to show you guys too I did like a level one two three and four and then I put to attack to hide a low and I basically just threw a bunch of just wind monsters in here that are somewhat powerful actually hold up hold up wrong thing wrong thing that I got mixed up real quick you still need to use wing beast monsters hold up hold up 
I messed this up real quick. Actually, Winged Beast right there. I'm super sorry about that. I was actually getting the unlock missions for Yusei messed up. And actually what you do is the same thing. You go to the filter and you go to the Winged Beast option and then you do one, two, three, and four. And basically just find all of your Winged Beasts right here and just throw them into a deck. And then just kind of try to win with this. If the auto duelists in your world are giving you an issue, all you really need to do is honestly just use a deck only of Winged Beasts and then face a level 10 NPC in your um, gate if you're having trouble with your auto duels like for example if this deck is not working out for you against like one of the npcs at like level 45 or whatever level they are all you really need to do is just use this deck and then go against um and then just go against a level 10 character at the gate to easily get those wins because it doesn't really matter which character you go against it just they don't specify that at all so remember that uh, too when it comes to that and then last but not least what you're going to need to do for the very last challenge is that you're going to need to inflict 30,000 points of effect damage now literally all i did with this one is that i just made a deck and i only you put inflicting damage stuff um, a recommendation that I would um, tell you guys is that, like I said, go to the filter thing and then this go around. I'd recommend going to spells and traps, find the damage life point thing, and then just find cards that only do damage to your opponents like Goblin Thief, um, Hitotama, Scrum Rami or whatever you call that, Restructor's Revolution, just stuff like that. Attack and Receive works for inflicting damage, Mask of the Accursed, and then I did the same thing for the monsters too. You can go to monsters right here for damage life points and then you can just kind of just go from here. And then just, I don't know, I went with Lava Golem and Flame Veil just so I can inflict battle damage and you need to inflict 30,000 points of battle damage. So what I kind of did too is that I actually fought against level 10 Crow. I felt like level 10 Crow is the easiest one to go against and then I was hopefully trying to get some farm cards from here which I actually got a SR card from doing this process too so you can battle him at level 10 and hopefully get an SR UR drop from Crow battling at level 10 and just use a deck that only inflicts battle damage if you lose it doesn't matter you any battle damage that you inflicted through effects can still go through for this challenge and just keep battling uh, any dual links world level 10 NPC for that and honestly that's all you really got to do it's just a tedious process like to unlock Crow it's not hard it's just a very tedious process to do but eventually hopefully with this tutorial um, it will help you guys out to unlock Crow and yeah like I said it's not that hard it's just kind of tedious and once you unlock Crow you you actually can use a black winged dragon and you get some black wing cards but to be honest the black wing cards that we got so far are very lacking i don't really think unlocking crow is that worth it but this tutorial should still hopefully help you guys out if you want to lock all the characters in the first place so if this video guys helped you as always hit the like button on the video down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos if you need help with unlocking any other character in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links I got you I'll figure out how to unlock other characters because I haven't unlocked keys of Leo and Luna but if you guys need help with unlocking those characters and I figure out how to unlock them I'll be sure to go make a video on that for you guys if you want me to and then yeah sorry that this video is a little bit all over the place I'm kind of pressed on time right now so I'm sorry about that but I still think my commentary was just at least clear enough to give you guys a good um, way to unlock Crow. I think that's going to do it for me, guys, though. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, and I hope this helped you out. Without further ado, see you later.